What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video. Today is trip to the thrift episode 34 and we are on the Tri-City Bridge. We got Coconut Creek over here, Coral Springs over here, and we're headed towards Margate. The traffic looks so bad right now. Let me flip this camera around for you guys to see. Holy crap. It's all the way backed up. When I was filming that last clip, some Russian dude was just like, Hajaz! I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, he gave me a thumbs up. I don't know why. So luckily I ride a bicycle, so I kind of just cheated and drove around all these cars. I think there's just an accident because I see like a bunch of lights flickering up here. So I found the problem. It's going to be a long day, guys. Got some stuck up bitch that doesn't know how to drive. She's yelling at me. What a fucking bitch. I don't know what that lady's problem was, but she ran from across the street to her car, which was already crashed. She's like, you're filming my car crash? I'm like, learn how to drive. That's all you have to do. So a great way to start out the morning. I hope you guys are having a good day. Make sure you guys become a subscriber, support those videos. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Locked up the vintage booty, made it to Goodwill Superstore. These Guitar Hero guitars actually go for some good money sometimes, like the Sunburst one. This one goes for about 35 to 40 bucks on eBay, but it has to have the back cover. Oh man. It doesn't have the battery cover. That's just like one of the selling points of when I'm listing it. I could be like with battery cover because it's always missing the battery cover. I don't know why. When I played with my Guitar Hero, never touched the battery cover. All right, so Goodwill's pretty dry. Couldn't find anything at all. Guys, I just found the worst fakes in history of fakes. Look at this. We got the Sumo Jumpman. Oh my God, this thing is like a pillow on the tongue. God, that's terrible. All right, so for $5.99, we got the Vineyard Vine size large with the patches on the sleeve. 100% Crosby shirt. I thought it said Cosby shirt at first. These are pretty easy money if you ever find Vineyard Vine brand. LeBron's, these are so ugly. What are those? And we still got those KDs from like seven episodes ago. I'm a size 13 though, so it's kind of hard to find my size. $20 is a little bit steep, but it's half off green tag today. So I'm gonna pick up the Shaquille O'Neal jersey size extra large. And mainly because I'm gonna pick it up for my friend Fred. I mean, if I sold it on eBay, I'd probably get 30 bucks for it next i found this vintage soccer jersey long sleeve it's kind of like a goalie shirt so i don't know if i'm gonna get it or not it's only four bucks it's got that vintage adidas tag in there it's a maybe yo i came in and swooped in salvation army it's so lit in here so many people and i copped these ultra boosts for ten dollars half off today and then we got these other runners free run 4.0s those are pretty dope and then we got the ultra boosts pretty sick size nine and a half and then these are size nine i believe but yeah ten bucks and six dollars and fifty cents easy scoops all right guys so there's a few things that i picked up that i didn't show you guys on camera so i'm gonna show you guys right now i picked up this animal print crazy windbreaker it's size medium for women's it has like shoulder pads and everything it was three dollars and fifty cents it is zip up and it's lightweight gonna sell it anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks next i picked up this vintage striped aruba shirt in a single stitch which means it's probably from the late 80s or early 90s it was only one dollar at salvation army and it has really cool colors on it that's why i picked it up if it was like a boring shirt i probably I wouldn't have picked it up but it had these bright colors and it looks like it's about a size large or extra large so it should be an easy sell for about 15 bucks and now for the ugliest nikes that i've ever picked up i think these things are hideous i don't know who would buy these they are a women's release they're called the nike lunar wavy i forget the name of them but they have foam posit in the name i just think they are disgusting like look how weird they look they were half off they were 14.99 so they're only seven dollars and fifty cents i surprised two other resellers when i pulled them up on ebay they're there was none that sold on eBay used, but brand new three pairs sold for 130 bucks. So I'm probably gonna ask like 60 bucks because it does have this marker on the front and I couldn't get it off. I tried nail polish, I tried my Mr. Clean Magic eraser. I'm just gonna sell it as is, but what would you guys do to clean this? Would you just paint over it, like paint white over it? I don't know how to get permanent marker off of shoe paint, so that's a challenge for you guys. Leave a comment down below if you guys know how to get that off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now we're gonna unbox gift number six of our Lego Star Wars advent calendar. So hope you guys Guys enjoy that today we're opening box number six obviously it's day six so you get gift six and it's going to be dun -dun 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 what the heck is that what the heck is that I built a little spaceship looking thing I don't know what it is I know there's someone that watches my videos that's really into Lego so make sure you comment down below let me know what spaceship this is this thing is intense it was actually kind of difficult to build because there was little pieces that like slid onto each other and the instruction is only one picture so you kind of have to like make a guesstimate of what's going on I put all the other gifts back in their places if you guys are wondering where everything else is I put them all back in their little cubbies thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up on comment down below your favorite thrift find of today's video make sure you guys become a subscriber and have a nice day peace out guys bye bye erectile dysfunction is bad but leaving a like on the video isn't whether you're hard or soft make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it